Welcome back to Astrolog Vibes TV. It's been a while. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and share this video with your friends. In today's video, we'll be looking at a very sensitive topic that requires our urgent attention as Africans. It's about the fast growing relationship between China, Russia, and the continent of Africa. And on that note, this is my own perspective about it. Please drop your opinion in the comment section. If I can get up to 20 or 50 comments, I will review all the comments in another video. That's one of the reasons why you should subscribe. Here's what I think. Africa is blessed with unlimited amount of natural resources and everybody wants it. Over the years, Africa has been more close to and influenced by the West. And everyone is saying Africa is being exploited, this and that. We all know this is true. But I blame it all on our leaders. They are enjoying it by the way since it favors them and their family. Now we have Russia and China and their association BRICS which South Africa is also a part of acting like they love Africa more and they want the interest of Africa and it seems their plan is working out well. Now come to think of it, this BRICS that is looking so good, is it not Russia's president Vladimir Putin? Ang Zi, the president of China, that are at the forefront of this organization. Now, don't you think their move in Africa is for their own interest and the interest of their own country? China is fast becoming a world power and their influence in Africa and other developing parts of the world is growing really, really fast. Now, look at China and Russia. Imagine if tomorrow the United States of America is not the world power. It's going to be one of these two. Somebody once wrote under a comment section on Instagram. I forgot to screenshot it. But he said, look at Russia promising you freedom. Why people in this same Russia are not free? Do you know how many thousands of citizens are in prisons in this country or have been killed for protesting against the government? Lest I forget, almost all the countries in Africa owes China billions of dollars. And the scariest part of this is that we do not know the terms and conditions of these loans and grants. Nothing is free even in Freetown. Few years from now, we will know what our leaders have really put us into. A lot of new infrastructures in developing countries, not just in Africa, are being sponsored and constructed by China. It's not as if they have so much money that they are just sharing it anyhow. It can never be. Because even China has a good population of extremely poor people. International politics is a game of interest. Some are playing it and some are being played. So far, our leaders are benefiting from it. Is not their business and come to think of it all of them have houses abroad and foreign bank accounts which they keep their loot the future is not really bright for some countries and it's very very disturbing was it last year or 2021 that we saw in the news that china was about to take over an airport in uganda because of a loan of how many hundred and something million us dollars so guys i'll have to end this video here now let's discuss in the comment section of recent, we have had a series of military takeover in some countries in Africa. What do you think about them? Do you think the freedom is finally coming? Or is it going to be like the same thing? For me as a Nigerian, in the past, even before I was born, we have had military leaders and I don't think it went well at all. And in fact, the most recent coup was even done by a family member of the president. I'm talking of Gabon. I want to hear from you in the comment section. Like I said, if I can get 20 to 50 comments, I will make a video reviewing all of it. See you in the next video where I'll be talking about the longest serving African leaders. Peace out.